Hello Internet, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Tottenham Hotspurs, but 20 years from now. Have they reached the pinnacle of the Premier League? Have they done anything in Europe? We'll take a look at that and much more. So let's hop in the TARDIS and find out. So here we are, folks, live May 1st, 2037, with Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, and let's get some good news out of the way. They are still in the Premier League. However, if you have a quick glance at the uh, league history, we'll, we'll, look at it, we'll look at that in a little bit more detail in just a second. But let's take a quick look. It doesn't look that promising. Um, in fact, however, there is a little bit of good news. It does look like there is some title success we'll take a look at that in more detail in just a second but let's take a look at the present picture of your manager you're currently managed by Mikhail Schönweitz a German fella so uh, I that name does not ring any bells to me whatsoever he's 57 years old uh, previous history he did manage the under 18s at Mainz in Germany before taking over as the under 18s manager under 19s manager under 21s manager uh, at Germany he then got his big break and he took over SLB, I think they are in Portugal. Yep, SLB. So he was there for a few years, three years, and he's only just taken over at Tottenham. We'll take a look at your previous managers in just a second. Let's just jump into the deep end and take a look at your current squads. Now, if you did happen to check out my club preview, uh, yeah, I did get a bit of flack for the way things were lined up. But uh, I've tweaked my look now and it does look a lot more detailed. So here is your current Tottenham Hotspur lineup. Quick glance down the flags because I'm, I'm all nuts about the flags. You have two, only two English players in your squad of 23 seniors. That's a concern that seems to be across the board uh, with the Premier League size. Not many English folks uh, and it's a major concern, I think. Uh, and on the flip side, uh, you have a lot of Spanish uh, and Portuguese knocking around. So um, take a look at your most expensive player. 60 million. Lamini Baldi. Portuguese defender slash defensive midfielder. Meanwhile, Andreas Rubio. Midfield center for 55 million. Mario Braga. Another Portuguese fellow. On your left hand side midfield. Juan Salinas. Your right back. Um, he's knocking on 50 million. And Ohan Osalp. Turkish fella. Again, competing roles for Salinas. But he could also play in midfield. So let's take a look at the domestic league history for the past 20 years for Tottenham. Uh, finishing in the debut season, finishing sixth. Um, in fact, back-to-back -back sixth before fourth, then a seventh, then your title win 2021-2022. So those that season seems to be a bit, you know, a bit bizarre from seventh to first to seventh to eighth. Anyway, moving forward, you get back to uh, decent ways in 2024-25 campaign, finishing third before another some some a real bad era. 8th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 9th, 11th, back to 5th, 9th, 10th, and last season you finished 13th. Currently, like I said, I think I said at the start of the show, 8th uh, in the Premier League. So let's take a look at other competitions here. League Cup, no success there. No no, no wins anyway, no, no trophy pickups. You do get to the semi-finals and you also lost to Arsenal in a final 2035-36 campaign also lost in fact to Manchester United in the initial season um, semi-finals lost to Watford so pretty poor in the League Cup but who cares about the League Cup anyway moving on to the FA Cup some success there you beat Watford 2034-35 uh, campaign you also lost to Man United in the final in the 27-28 campaign again to the final in the debut campaign so you had an initial uh, you know, surge of, of at least finals. I don't think your league success, uh, you know, was the same. You, you did well in the domestic cups, but not in the league. You also lost to United and Arsenal back-to-back -back finals um, during the 2028 campaign and the 2027 campaign. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the European Cup. Uh, it looks like you appeared in that in a handful of occasions, losing out to Monaco in the final. Also losing to Sevilla in the final and Dortmund in the semi-final. Take a look at the one that matters. The Champions League. Losing. Uh, no mate, no success. Um, and the highest you did uh, manage to secure was a first round knockout. Losing to Madrid, Juventus and Bayern over the years. 
So let's take a look at the managers. Oh my days, quite a lot of managers. Uh, Pochettino lasted four years, nearly five years, but he didn't pick up anything. Then Carlo Ancelotti came in, took over the reins, just under two years, no success. Then, this is a bit of an interesting one, Jurgen Klopp comes in, picks up a league title uh, in his just shy of two years before he sacked. Sergio Conceição then comes in, no success, just shy of three years. Justin Cochrane takes over as uh, caretaker before Eddie Howe comes in for his brief, well, for a year. Uh, Ronaldo comes in as caretaker. That's bizarre. Cochrane can then gets the job on a full-time basis, uh, just shy of a year, fails. Ronaldo comes in on a first on a on a permanent basis, just shy of two years. Uh, he's then sacked. Ledley King, yes, uh, defender from the past, comes in for a brief 14-day caretaker spot before Martin Canning comes in for 135 days. So not much success there. Antonio Conte tries to bring in some stability, just shy of two years uh, before Frank De Boer comes in, two years just over. Then Matthew Wells, then Charlie Wyke, Eusebio Del Francisco comes in for just a new year. Then Ahmed Abadi, whoever that fella is, for 126 days on an interim basis. Currently, Mikhail Schönweitz is your man. So realistically, you know, the only success you really had was Jurgen Klopp as your manager. So that is bizarre. So let's take a look at the landmarks over the years. See if anything crazy is going on. You do fail English Premier League financial fair play regulations during the 2019 and 2020 campaign. You also fail the European Championship Cup financial fair play regulations on the 2021 campaign. Uh, John Hunt fails in a takeover bid. Daniel Levy leaves 2024. New chairman Mervyn Young takes over 2024. Then you temporar temporarily move to Wembley. Uh, your stadium has increased to 76,000. You go back to the new White Hart Lane after temporary relocation. Meanwhile, club fails Premier League financial fair play regulations. Um, what else have you got going on? Fails again. New takeover. Daniel Briggs fails in takeover. Uh, sorry. Christian Mayer also fails. Chairman Mervyn Young leaves. When did he get appointed here? Mervyn Young. 2024. Mervyn Young. For 11 years, he's the chairman, but, he's, but he... Uh, Stands down. Martin Williamson comes in. The takeover. And that's that's that. Let's just take a look at your best 11. This is the best 11 over the past 20 years on averages and numbers and that kind of jazz. Harry Kane with his 196 goals um, in 417 appearances. Let's take a look at him. Uh, this was his uh, playing history. He did obviously stay at Spurs for a good portion of his time. He did end up... Moving to Swansea eventually to the back end of his career and he ended up in Scotland, retiring at 38. Um, Deli Ali, another key figure and current state of play. Currently 41 years old. He's a director of football. Um, let's take a look at his career. With Spurs for the predominantly best part of his days before making a big money move to Man City. 47.5 million. Uh, has a bit more success uh, I think that's when he called it a day. Other familiar names in here, Thomas Alderweireld, Eric Dyer, Hugo Lloris. They also make it into the overall 11. Let's take a look at the ones over the years. 25 goals for Harry Kane in the first season, more well, in the 2017-2018 season. Um, so a lot of familiar names in the lineup. Stefan de Frey comes to Spurs the next season. Davinson Sanchez, uh, de Frey and Alderweireld as your back three. Thomas Glover. On the bench, not sure about who that fella is. Kicking on forward, Federico Chiesa comes into the lineup, scores 10 goals from outright. Harry Kane, 23 goals. Um, Kevin Strootman comes in to the centre of midfield to partner Deli Alley. Um, so it's an interesting change of dynamics there. Christian Eriksen still knocking on 2021 22 campaign. You've also got uh, Florinel Conman, not Kingsley Conman, but Florinel Conman. Not sure who he is, if he actually exists or not. Um, kicking forward, Adrian Silva, uh, currently in limbo land in the real world between um, Sporting and Leicester. He comes in for Tottenham in the centre of midfield. So Strotman's stay is brief. Um, scanning through now, 10 years from today. Vincius Jr. on the left-hand side. Thomas Ziegler on the right-hand side. And up front, David Sita scores 12 goals in what looks like a piss-poor campaign for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, the only familiar face today is Eric Dyer. Anyway, kicking forward into the, the next season. 
Um, a little bit more promising statistics there. De David Sita with 19 goals. Mm, 22 goals scored by Nerman Halevich during the 2033-34 season. Um, so more impressive numbers there. Uh, he continues to score for Spurs. 23 goals during the campaign, 2035-36 campaign. So let's take a look at those numbers a little bit clearer. Here are your top goal scorers over the years. The main man, Harry Kane, is the record breaker. 26 goals for the season. He did that twice on two occasions. Uh, and currently, Nerman Halovic is your next best bet. 23 for the season. Meanwhile, assists. Otavio got 18 assists through the season. So has Andreas Rubio, who is still on the books at Spurs. 26 years old, four caps to his name. Let's take a look at your fastest goal. Over the uh, over the past 20 years, we have a 15-second one by Samu Castelio. Do we have any takers on that? Yes, we do. Joao Felix uh, scored on 14 seconds against Chelsea in the Premier League. Nope, we got a beater. David Sita beats, uh, put one past Huddersfield, uh, the home tie uh, in the Premier League, 2032 in May. That's your record breaker right there. Meanwhile, let's take a look at your youngest players over the years. We have a 15-year-old Patrick McClough against Madrid in the Champions League Cup first round knockout. So that's ballsy. Throw in a 15-year-old who is a goalkeeper. He's now uh, at Notts County, who are just a, a little bit of a spoiler. I think they're in the I think they're in the Premier League. Um, 29 years old, so still got a bit of bit of years left in them. Um, so that's that's a ballsy move. Also Ollie Turner. Uh, played for Ipswich against Ipswich. Sorry, um, value of six million career out on loan at Chesterfield. Um, so that's a couple of the youngest players. More of your oldest folk here. Eric Dyer, thirty-six years old. Um, I tried. I was trying to click him earlier, but they can't get. Can't give me a bit of a, any history on him. But thirty-six years of age. He's your. He's your oldest fella. So let's take a look at your stats. See if there's any familiar names in here. Hugo Oliveira. Goalkeeping coach, he seems uh, familiar. Uh, Adrian Marepa, he was a former uh, Watford player, defender. Ledley King, obviously, senior coach. Tommy Johnson, I think that's ex Blackburn Rovers chief scout. Yep, he's in there. I remember him playing for Derby way back when. Stefan Freund, still on the books. Jason Todd, don't know that name. So that's your, that's a quick glance. Uh, no major standouts there for uh, your staff. No, I'm just a couple of familiar names. Uh, take a quick look at the Premier League. Uh, if you haven't checked it out on any of the previous videos, uh, no major major shockers in there. Only Notts County, uh, Tottenham currently sit eighth. They have the 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 wiggle room to maybe finish as high as seventh, possibly sixth, but doubtful. That was just a quick overview of Tottenham Hotspur 20 years from now. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Keep you bang up to date with all things Football Manager, amongst other things. I do a lot of other, other content, including Blackburn Rovers um, and World Football. But yeah, I am planning on a few game saves in the next few weeks. So please stand by for them. But until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.